Welcome back to Sunrise everyone on this Tuesday. Hope you're doing well this morning. Time now is 515 and it's also time to get a full check of the forecast. Let's turn things over to meteorologist Sharon Ray. How's it looking? Pretty good, Paulo. You probably noticed the temperature hasn't been quite as hot recently. It was nice yesterday. Yeah. I know the, the overcast helped with that. It did. And you know, we're not going to see anything too extreme now. We're le leveling off close to that 90 degree mark here the next few days, which is closer to normal. 91 is normal starting tomorrow. You can see it's not going to be as hot through the week and even into the weekend. Temperatures will vary a little bit, but not a lot. And weak cold fronts are still in the forecast, but nothing to bring much cool air. The cool air looks like it's going to stay in northern Texas from both of those, but it does increase our rain chances. We've got some disturbances moving through, so we'll see isolated to scattered, still hit and miss, nothing really widespread, but at least there's some rain out there and a few of us will get. Right now there's one shower right there and it's getting ready to move into Port Aransas. So we get a little bit of rain here from this as it's moving onshore right now near Port Aransas and then it'll eventually work its way up to Aransas Pass. And temperatures right now are in the 70s to low 80s, 80 degrees right now in Corpus Christi, 78 at Kingsville and Mathis. Pretty nice morning out there, nice and quiet. And we're going to see those temperatures today in those lower 90s inland and Coast side 88 Port Aransas, Rockport hitting 90 today, and Corpus Christi 91. So yeah, we'll feel the heat. It's just that remember last week how extreme it got with those, the humidity and heat, not like that this week. But we are going to see a little more humidity today than we did yesterday. And the feels like forecast is slightly higher as we get into the afternoon. Uh, those heat indices coming up to about 100 to 105 closer to the coast today. Still nothing extreme, but you'll notice an uptick in the humidity as the wind is picking up a little more today. We'll see those winds up to about 15 to 20 miles an hour this afternoon and the same for tomorrow. So at least the breeze will be blowing a little bit more today and tomorrow to stir up the air. All right, our active hurricane season continues and there are two tropical storms out there. The good news, neither one's going to affect us, but this one, this is a disturbance right now, but it has a moderate chance of development in the next five days and that would head toward the Carolinas. So we'll be watching that for the East Coast. But the other two, Paulette and Renee, they're out there, but look at the track forecast models take them well out in the Atlantic. So no problems there. That's two more storms to add to the list. What we are seeing are people are pulling out their winter jackets up there in the northern plains, feeling a lot like fall. Look at that cold air. Temperatures in the 30s and 40s. That's that cold front we've been following all week and it's heading south, but the cold air isn't going to make it here. What we do have are some weak disturbances moving through and you can see we've got a little bit of rain out there. Most of it's going north into Victoria, but a couple of showers may develop today. They'll be more isolated as you can see here from future tracker. Not a lot and they're going to focus Corpus Christi northward through the early part of today. Tomorrow it looks like the early part of the day again. In fact, late tonight and tomorrow you can see how widely scattered the showers and thunder showers are through tomorrow and the same will hold for Thursday and that'll keep our temperatures at bay in the upper 80s to near 90 with that very weak front now not even getting in here until Friday. There's another one for Monday that'll increase our rain chances once again. Paulo. 